How are you? <laughs> Too much to do. Same as always. Hot day, dirty car, miserable work. <laughs> well, here, let me take nope. this box. My work, my burden. <laughs> really, it's no problem. No! I'm. Thank you. I've got this. No! I said I've got this! Listen, I noticed! There's a crack in the sidewalk, sir. I said I've got this! Get out of here! Why don't you people just leave me alone? What is wrong with these people? Always killing themselves to help each other. Stupid. Even if you don't want their help, it makes me sick. They don't even plan on being so nice. They just are. How can people be so freaking backward? Earl, Connie, <laughs> so great to see you. Oh, we have an appointment, don't we? Texas. He means taxes like paying the government, not Texas like the state. <laughs> <laughs> she's a funny one, Radish. I'm telling you, she's a keeper. Oh, usually he's the funny one. And what you were saying about people being backwards. Oh, well, I. Uh... No, you're absolutely right. It is backwards. We should actually be planning on being nice instead of just waiting for it to happen naturally. She's also the brains of the operation. Oh. One full year of community college under her belt. I couldn't even figure out how to fill out the application. <laughs> Good. Time. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Plan. Earl, Connie, I have been looking over your numbers for the past quarter, and I just have a couple of questions for you. Ask away, <laughs> Radish. My brain is your playground. Well, it, you've done a decent job of accounting for your expenditures, but I can't help but notice that you've been constantly writing checks to other individuals in town. Uh, Mrs. Tirebiter? Wally, Alma Puckett. Look, I have to ask. Are you actually writing these checks as some sort of payoff? Possibly a drug purchase? Because this is a foolish paper trail. What? No drugs, Radish. Unless you're talking about a good laxative. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt to hope for a little excitement. <laughs> Plus, I do know somebody who can help you disappear. No! We just like helping people out sometimes, that's all. Yeah, every now and then we like to give folks a little extra money when they need it. Hey, you know, we know they do the same for us. Are any of these individuals 501c3s or registered religious organizations? Your guru, maybe? If you're in a cult, we can claim that. Wally does have ADHD, and Alma sure does pray a lot when she can't find where she's parked her VW. <laughs> Did any of those count? <laughs> you could be getting a tax break if, if, if you, you donate to a bona fide charity or, or a church. As it is, you're giving away your hard-earned cash, and you have nothing to show for it. Oh, well, I can't agree with you there, Rod. You know, if I help a friend pay their mortgage, I help a family stay in their home. And when we donate to Wally's fundraiser for orphan kids, we are helping the community. Or or orphaned kids? Uh, 
see? That's something we can deduct. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, Wally, uh, you know, he gets cans down at the Goosey Gander Market for his campaign, Cans for Kids. It's a, uh, a drive to help baby goats. <laughs> Did you get it? These kids are baby goats. <laughs> oh, but seriously, Radish, I mean, have you seen these little goat faces? I mean, we had, we had to help Wally out. I need some coffee. I should have been a proctologist. Then I could justify this pain in the backside. Oops, looks like someone forgot to pay their electric bill.